Hey everybody, it's me. Came on here to show you a couple of things um, that I I did yesterday. I know that uh, I uploaded the package that Arlene had sent me, and in it she had sent me some of these really lovely. Um, these are I don't know if they're napkins or guest towels. They might be a little bit thin for a guest towel, but uh, they. Uh, had a lot of images on them. You know, there it's a repeating pattern, but it was a lot of images. There's six. So I was really excited, as you could tell. And now I can't get that photo back up the way I had it, but um, because I wanted to do something with them. And what I did was I took the one that she had wrapped my pocket letter in, and I peeled off the layers. And there were two uh, two white layers on this. And I cut, I cut it out. I started to tear it out, but then I, um, I don't like to tear unless it's wet. So I just went ahead and cut it out. And I took those two pieces, and I glued them onto a piece of cardstock that I had in this color right here. And I put, um, glued them down with decoupage. I'm, I'm using this because it is a little cheaper than the collage page. My end frame. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I glued them down, and once I glued them, glued those napkins down, these you can see they changed color a little bit. But like I said, I used this; it's kind of a beige. I glued them down side by side, and then what I did was after I glued them down with the decoupage, let that dry. This was yesterday evening. Uh, late yesterday evening, um, and then after they had dried, the decoupage had dried, then I tore them like this. It made it much easier. If you're going to tear a napkin dry, um, take a really thin paintbrush like this, dip it in water, and then just go along wherever you want to tear, and it makes it easier to tear that way. I know a lot of people know how to do what I am saying. But I have some new subscribers and sometimes a how-to, you know, how to do it. Not necessarily a tutorial, but a how-to sometimes is helpful. But after I tore them all out, then I hit them really, really hard with, um, I always keep a rubber band on mine so the lids don't come off. This is Walnut Stain, Rangers Distress Ink Walnut Stain. And I use the same little, um, foam thing. My walnut stain and my uh, vintage photo because they're not really that far off. The walnut stain's a little bit darker. But I wanted the walnut stain around here because the, the brown was already so dark and I just went really hard around the edges with the walnut stain. And then I hit it with another coat of the decoupage. And this is what it's like. It's almost like a parchment thing. It feels like and they really, I really like the, the finish that went on it. It's glossy. It, this is actually matte, but it does have a glossiness to it. But I thought that would just be really, really cool to put in um, book. Uh, even, you know, make a very large Halloween card out of it. I just, I just had to do it. Whenever I saw the, um, you know, this, what she had sent me, I had to turn it in just to something else, and it, and it just, I didn't do anything to the back because to stick something down, it's better not to have the, any sort of sealant on it, because then you, I don't think uh, regular, like Aileen's Tacky Glue works very well, and definitely not the uh, ATG gun tape, it won't, it won't stick, I don't think, to this, so you'd have to use something a little, with a little more oomph. But, so I just left it blank because I have a project in mind. I told you I've been wanting to make like a gothic book or something. So, um, and they're different because the way I tore them, they're different. So anyway, oh, and anybody that's saying, uh, seeing this little piece right here, that's part of the, of the napkin itself that I did not quite get, you know, torn off right there. Okay, I did that. And then this morning... I uh, was doing some laundry and uh, said, well, let me, while my washer is doing its thing, let me cut out some stuff. So this was a, a um, some of the, these are mini postcards. They're really cute. From Ephemera's Vintage Garden, a, din a digital download. 
And there, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one, as you can see, I've already distressed it. And for anybody, new viewers, uh, new new to crafting, and whenever you say what is, we say distress, and you say what is that? Distressing. Distressing is just making it look like it's been through the ringer and back. You know, like it's old. Um, I did not do the back again because it'll probably be attached down on something. But okay. So how do you get from this nice clean edges to this? that looks like it's been through the ringer. I'm going to show you. And for those of you who already know how to do this, you know, um, I don't know, go do your laundry like I was doing. <laughs> I don't know. Do the dishes. Work on a project while I talk. What you do is you take a distressing tool. You can use, um, this is the um, Tim Holtz distressor, or you can use a little bit of sandpaper. Or I keep this old package of uh, emery boards. You can do the same thing. All you're going to do is you're going to be roughing up the edge. It takes a little bit extra oomph with an emery board, but I use my distress tool. It does get kind of messy, and don't be afraid of it. Just get in there and really, really give it hell. I mean, you know, just, and go ahead and yank at the corners. You want it to do that. You want it to be look like it. I've even bent them accidentally and said, hey, that's cool. You know, bend the corners really bad. Okay. And all of these, none of, all of these, all of these are the same. It doesn't like it gives you a, a less or more type of, you know, it's just a, like a round blade in there with a little guard on it. So yeah, bend it good again. And that's great. That's going to, oh, that's going to turn out better than my, um, other one. I really like this one with the with the, the creepy crawlies in the little containers. You know, you just like I said, give it hell. Go ahead, bend the corners. Who cares? And as a matter of fact, sometimes I go ahead and bend them just just because because I'm going to bend them later anyway. Okay, get all the fuzzies off my off my desk, and then this is the easy part. You take your um, your ink spongy ink thing, and you just go. Yeah. And it makes it look dirty. It makes it look like it's been around a long time and it's gotten dirt all over it. And then to get these, like the little lines in here, like this one I kind of bent it and I and inked it. Like which is bent right there. That's this bent right there. So I'm going to do that. And see how it just makes that line? But let me get through. Yeah, just did pretty good. This is the walnut stain. I, I pre-inked it with walnut stain. That one turned out really good too. I don't like it when they... Now, to get the lines, like here, is what I do. I go like this. And I barely bend it. I go like that. Like that. And I just like do that. You don't have to bend. It's okay if you bend it, but you don't really have to bend bend it. And then, you know, like that, to go like this. And like hit the top of that with your your ink. And like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, like that. And maybe over here like that. I think I want another bent corner. So what I'm gonna do is like this 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 corner probably went through the ringer. So don't be afraid to bend like that and give it a little more distressing and then Hit that like that. Okay. Did I do it? Did I did I make sense? And like I said, just bend it, hold it down, and ink, and then straighten it back out. There you go. Now we're all distressed. Okay. That's how I do it. it. Is that simple? Um, yeah. Is it like everybody else does it? Probably not. But it is a way to do it, so it's not a tutorial to how to. So it went from this with the nice, clean, sharp edges to these. And it was as simple as that. All right, well, I am going to clean up and move on. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope I helped somebody. Bye.